Hey guys, so in today's video, I wanted to talk to you about the ICT Judas Swing trading strategy that ended up giving me a nice one to two risk to reward this morning with very minimal drawdown and ran straight to the TP. Now, not only was this trade taken by me, but it was also taken by my entire Discord community and everyone ended up profiting along with me. Guys, I thought I would just chuck this in here really quickly. I am having a flash 20% sale for the Signals community. So if you were looking to get started and you were waiting for the perfect time to join, now is the time to do so. If you go down in the description and click the link, it will take you to the page where you can subscribe and the 20% discount has already been added. So let's jump straight into it and examine exactly why this Judas Swing model played out the way it did. Now, if you haven't done so already, I would highly recommend going down in the description and downloading this free Judas Swing framework that I have created for everyone so that you can follow along and take these high quality trades with me. Now, whilst you're down there, if you could also please leave a like, comment and subscribe, I would be ever so grateful. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to understand our directional bias. Where are we on the higher time frame? Are we bullish? Are we bearish? What sort of price action are we actually trying to see? So for the time being, if we jump up to the one hour, what we can see is that we are in a bullish market. We can see a series of higher highs, higher low, higher high, higher low. And we just have a series of higher highs and higher lows forming, right? So this analysis was also sent into the Discord community yesterday where I sent them my outlook for EURUSD and GBPUSD for the entire week. And as we can see, I had this one hour zone marked out from last night. And when we came into this one hour zone, we actually had this beautiful sell off. So this reaction was caused because price entered into a one hour supply zone. And this supply zone is what actually caused price to give us this sell off, which we got, which ended up giving us the liquidation of the Asia lows. Now, the ideal trade setup that I was actually interested in from this morning was a sweep of the Asia highs, pushing us further into this hourly supply zone so that we could take some sales going down into a demand zone. However, price unfortunately did not give us a sweep further up into this hourly zone but instead it gave us the reaction from the hourly zone and then ended up giving a sweep of the asia lows now this is something very key that i explained to the members in the community is that we are simply just reactionists we don't want to force price to do anything we don't want to anticipate anything all we simply want to do is react to whatever price is actually doing so in this instance I was actually interested in looking for sales with a deeper push into this hour zone. We didn't get that. So I was very happy with waiting for a sweep of the Asia lows so that I could take higher prices because then that would inevitably put me in a pro trend direction. So once I understood this, I then went on to step number two, which is identifying my time. Now, the Judas swing happens at the end of the Asia session, and that is between 7 a.m. and 9 a.m. UK time. So this is the time window that we are actually going to be looking for trades. Now, if we move on to step number three, we now have to identify our liquidity. So for this, we mark out our Asia highs and lows, and then this is now our liquidity. Once we've marked this out between midnight and 7 a.m. UK time, we simply just wait. So let me mark that out for you guys right now so that we can exactly see what price is doing. And whilst I'm there, I will also replay price so that we can take this trade together. So we've got our Asia highs and we've got our Asia lows. I've come to the charts at seven o'clock and I'm looking and I'm anticipating to see what will price do next. Like I said, I wanted to see a sweep high so that we could take some shorts, but I was open to either or. Now, the next thing that I noticed is last night when price opened up we had this big gap down and then price slowly came back up filled it and then moved away however when we had this big gap down what we have to understand is that when there is a gap in the market that means it, during this period there was a lot more selling pressure than there was buying pressure and then as soon as the markets opened the bulls came back in and slowly started filling price up however 
whilst price was getting filled back up we also had this area right here which we have to understand is where a lot of volume was transacted so what I did is I marked this area out because I knew that this area was somewhere that price can come back to because there was a big volume of orders getting transacted. Therefore, I knew that if price came down, the most likely place that it could stop is here before giving us a pro trend move. So now that I've got my Asia highs and lows marked and I've got a higher time frame area of interest, now I'm actively looking for a market structure shift. So we wait for a sweep of either the high or the low of the Asia session. We then drop down to the one minute time frame and we wait for a market structure shift. So if we come onto the charts and we now wait for price to sweep, which we get right here, we get a nice sweep of the Asia lows. So now what we do is we drop down to the one minute time frame, and now we simply just wait for a market structure shift. So if I play price on, we can see that we get the market structure shift very soon. So price comes all the way down and then it gives us this crazy market structure shift right here. So the way I was viewing price is that we've got a lower low, lower high, lower low, and then we break this high and this high right here, giving us a higher high. So now we've got our market structure shift. We're now anticipating a higher low before a continuation high. Therefore, now that we've got our market structure shift, we move on to the next step, which is to identify our fair value gap. So once we've had a market structure shift, we identify our fair value gap to take the entry. And a fair value gap is when we have exponential price displacement to one side. So I have the example there as well. So if we go back to the chart, what we can start to see is that we have multiple fair value gaps moving up in this leg of price. Therefore, what I wanted to do is I wanted to also incorporate an order block with a fair value gap right above it so that that way it adds more confluence to this setup. If I just went for a fair value gap, some could say that I could go there, I could go there, I could go there. We've got a fair value gap down here. Which one do you choose? Therefore, I picked this one because there was a order block right below it, giving it more confluence. So now that I've identified my entry, the fair value gap is right here. We've got our order block right there. I put my entry at the order block and my stop loss just below the low. Now for targets, what I was targeting is the Asia high right there. And the reason why I was targeting the Asia high is because this is the opposing liquidity. So my anticipation was we get this tap into our order block slash fair value gap and then a price rally straight up. So if we play price on, we can see that price gave us that beautiful tap into our entry and ran straight to the take profit. Now, if we drop down to the one minute, we can also see that it was beautifully tapped into the order block right there, minimal drawdown, and it ran straight to the take profit. So again, not only did I take this trade, but all of the members in the Discord also took this trade and we were 2% up for the start of this beautiful Monday. And that just goes to show that having one profitable strategy that you understand inside and out is all you really need to be profitable in these markets. You don't need all of these fancy strategies that you are given all over the internet. You just need one that you backtest, you understand, you know it has a good win rate and you just trade that every day. Whether a win, whether a loss, you simply just stick to that strategy. Now, I hope you guys took some value away and some knowledge from this video. And if you did, please, again, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe. And if you haven't done so already, go down in the description, click the link to join the Discord, come and say hello. And I'll see you guys in the next video.